I found God this week. It was really cool. Uh, I found God on MySpace. And uh, yeah, he does not want to be my friend. How messed up is that? <sighs> I know, right? I'm still waiting approval from the Lord. Satan signed right up, though. It's crazy. So uh, what else can I tell you guys about? Uh, my dad is a doctor, and so people always assume that I'm rich just because dad's a doctor. He, uh, he actually doesn't have a lot in common with other doctors. The only thing that he shares as far as stereotypes go is the handwriting. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I've known the man my whole life. Well, obviously, I've known him my whole life, but... He sent me a Christmas card, and I literally had to take it to a pharmacist. I was like... But I got Valium, so it was awesome, you know? Like, yeah, it helps with the quitting smoking. That's all I'm saying. Oh, so anyways, I went home for Christmas, and that was great because I got to see a lot of my friends that have been friends since I was 12. And I don't know if you guys have friends of those opposite sex where you're kind of like brother and sister, but not really, but no matter what, you're never like, you know, winky winky or anything like that. Like, it's just, that's the relationship you have because some of you are looking at me like, I would totally hunt my friend. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, anyways... My friend John is like that, and he freaked me out because he crossed a boundary that I didn't know that maybe we needed to have a little chit-chat about. Uh, yeah, he walked in on me in the shower and just starts talking to me. Like, I'm not naked in the shower, you know, just walks in and rips back the shower curtain, and he goes, hey, I was thinking we could see a movie at like 3.45, what do you think? I, uh, I think I'm naked. Maybe we could talk about this later. He goes, Alicia, I don't care. I've seen you naked before. I'm like, that was 14 years ago. I have grown since then. And he said, not much. <laughs> so I thought it was really funny when he went to jail. That's the kind of friendship that we have. That is correct. But I felt bad because it was his birthday and I wanted to get him a card and I didn't know what kind of a card you get somebody when they're in jail on their birthday. So I was like, all right, well, like, so I got him one of those Monopoly get out of jail free cards, right? And uh, I took it down to the jail and like an idiot, I showed the guard. Like they didn't have to search me or anything. I just whipped it out and was like, look, bet you've never seen one of these before. I'm going to give this to my friend. And they took it from me. They actually confiscated a Monopoly card at the jail. And I was freaking out, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, like he's gonna cash it in or something. <laughs> Are the guards that dumb? Because I can't believe that there'd be somebody on the government's payroll so stupid that they're gonna go, oh, okay, all right. We'll uh, buy the power invested in me by Parker Brothers. <laughs> go and be free. That's my guard impression. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I, it would be awesome if they would give it to him and release him just so I could watch the news. Because that would be an awesome news report, just to watch a reporter go, thank you, Bob. An inmate was released today from jail on a Monopoly card. Currently, he's headed southbound on the freeway in a 1947 pewter thimble. That's right, Bob. Sources say he's headed for a crack house on Baltic Avenue. Back to you. But of course, that'll never happen, and we all know that'll never happen. Because there's going to be at least one guy on payroll between the front door and the cell block that's not an idiot. At least one guy is going to go, all right, nice try, buddy. I'm not stupid. You got to roll doubles. <laughs>